Day two, LA. He's back and patiently waiting. Oh, hey, what's up? Guys, I am downtown LA. This is gonna be my first time at the Jumpman LA. You used to be able to make an appointment through the night yeah. and work out of there. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Didn't know that. Then the, the basketball court too, they had, you can make an appointment for the basketball court back in the day. So 2020 is when they stop them. Got it, so it's uh, Jumpman LA, right? Yeah. So we're in the building at Jumpman LA. Who brought me over here? There's a few shoes in the building. There's even some sold out shoes that came out last year that I saw when I walked in. I actually recorded initially, but guess what? It wasn't recorded, so we'll revisit that here shortly. Air Jordan 10s with a toe cap. These originally release and then to actually stop production and remove them off the shelves, like from the foot lockers at the time. And only a few of them got into the wild. It'd be nice if Jordan Brand bring this shoe back. We know that they brought these back, I think 2016. I think we're due for the Air Jordan 1s again. We recently got these and these and those. Look what I found. In the building, we got the Gratitude 11. Not to be confused with a playoff. This is a dope, they're going for retail. So they told me they have like size 10 and a half. So if you guys in the area, you live in LA, you live or close by downtown, pull up and cop. And also, they got the white cement lows, going for 140, still retail. And they also got these joints. These are the Airships Awake. This is a collab that with Jordan Brand that they did a couple months back. We have one neighborhood store that had them. Actually, we have two, Trophy Room and Men's Closet, but they're available here in this all-exclusive Jordan sneaker store, which is called Jumpman LA, and they only sell Jordans, which I think is dope. And on the bottom shelf, they got a whole bunch of Air Jordan 1 lows, including the university joints, going for retail. 140 for these. But if you guys are intermeds, they got you lows, and they got the Zoom. I don't see much Zooms in here, but this is one of them. And they got you with the Air Jordan black and white. And the Yang or the Yang mids. Don't this shoe remind you of the Yang and Yang? The high OG? That's what this remind me of. I remember that shoe came out in 2015. I bought both pairs, the black and the white joints. Literally identical. Just minus the height. And in this store, they also got the reimagined Air Jordan Royals. I wanna know the price for these joints. What's up? Okay, I said, I said you're doing your thing. Oh yeah, most deaf. <laughs> most deaf. <laughs> They're actually on sale, $139 for these joints. They got a sale rack, but ain't much popping off over here. I actually went through it because I'm kind of cold here in LA. The only thing I find was this joint, but this is still, still too much to 60 beans. But I mean, we respect you are in a Jordan exclusive store, so you're gonna pay Jordan exclusive prices. And over here, you got the performance shoes. You got the Jordan 38s. We've seen these in multiple different stores. I always saw these joints on sale. They're 200 beans here. This is a performance shoe, along with the rest of these. I actually like this colorway and this colorway. Mommy of the Aqua 8s and the Air Jordan 8s was designed after the 8. Now here's the low. I prefer low basketball shoes. They just give me a lot more mobility and I'm not mad at these. This joint is cool to the inside. Maybe the color, not so much, but the shoe is not bad. It's hitting for 175 and they're cheaper than the mid. So these are Jordan 38s. It might be a PE. I mean, you gotta read the information here. It says developed by Jermaine Torolino. That's developed, but I don't know who rocked these and I'm not sure where this shoe is placed, if it's an NBA or overseas. And then over here, you got the Zion joints and all red. Oh no, I apologize. These are the Lucas and I'm not mad at this colorway. It's fire. And these are the Zions. This is Zion's third signature shoe. You got it in that teal colorway. It says teal SE. Boom, there you go. There's a lot of shoes that they have that we don't have back in Orlando in one particular area. You gotta go to multiple different stores. Matter of fact, you gotta go to multiple different places in the state of Florida to find some of these shoes. Like, let me show you. For example, these joints. These are the Air Jordan 6. I believe they're supposed to pay homage to a basketball street brand overseas. I think it's in China. I like the colorway. And there goes the, the logo. If you guys pause it, you can scan that QR code and see where it takes you. Good, and they got these PSG lows. This is the first time I'm actually seeing these joints. It came out last year in 2023. They're still in the building. They're going for retail though, $200. But they're here though, that's dope to see. I like going to different places when I visit different locations to see what they have, because sometimes we don't always get stuff that other places get. 
And being in a Jordan store, you can't expect to see stuff that may not be in your area. And if you watch my video, you probably noticed in that too. For example, these are the Air Jordan 12 Court Purples, and we don't have these in our area no longer, but they're available here. They retail though, 200 beans for those. We still got these IEs, but nobody wanted them. These joints are going for 140. And they also got these Powder Blue Nines, Fire Shoe, retail though, they're in the building. They also got the Lucky Green Fives, retail. They got a whole bunch of twos in different colorways, including these lows. This is a fire colorway, and this joint is hitting for $80. That's cheap, that's affordable. Fire shoe, I wish they made these in extended sizes. Yeah. However, they did not make these in extended sizes. These are Air Jordan 4. I like them. I like the colorway and the material is very, 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 very soft. Good quality. And these are also good quality. I know a lot of you guys passed on these. I think it's well executed. Colorway may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I cop. Now the quality on these models may not be ideal, but it's the Air Jordan 1. If you try and get in the game, you could get these fairly affordable. However, this is 140. You got the Black Cement 2s, another good shoe. These are 119. And then you got the Python 2s, and I'm not sure the price on this. They're retail, and so are these. And so are the Fair 3s, Glow Green 3s, and clearly these. I apologize, these are 150. They still got the Maroon 6s. And the last time these joints came out was 2006. And it still got the Maroon 6s for retail. And it still got the Air Jordan 12 Cherries. He's still in the building. And they're going for retail, 160. I actually like these 13s. And 13s are very comfortable shoes. Cannot go wrong with a pair of 13 fire colorway. And guys, we're not done. There's still a slew more Jordans that I haven't shown you. For example, they still got the Aqua 6s. And these are actually going for 150. Infrared 7s, no price on these. Do got the Olive 5 for men's, and then do got the sales. These are the most recent Jordan release. These are the fives and a hit and four. 210. We took a look at these earlier. The Fear Threes is in the building. 210 shoe. And here's a shoe I haven't seen in a long time. These Air Jordan 3. I think these are the navies. They're still going for retail. When did these drop? Was it 2022 or 2023? They're available in Jumpman LA. These two lows are funky. And they're here for 225. That's different. They also got the black cements and men as well. Guys, we're not even done. Python 2, Black Italy's. Look at these ships. I'm not sure the price. Only neighborhood stores got these. And clearly, Jumpman LA still have them. I'm not sure what sizes are available. A lot of people actually like these. I actually did too, but it wasn't something I must have. But it's different. Clearly. It's clearly different. And these are different as well. I forgot what these are called. Celadons? I, I, I forget. I'll be bushing the name. They're a buck 80. I do have these. I think it's a dope shoe. Politely passed. I believe this will be like an outlet pickup for like under 100. I did own these when they originally dropped. I think 2019 was the original time. Why they re-released them, I have no idea. I know resale was up on these. They're 135 here. First time in LA, I had to visit the Jumpman LA, located at 620 South Broadway, Los Angeles. Cool Kicks took me to this spot. Salute to the cool for bringing me to this spot. He also explained to me on the roof, there's a basketball goal, but since the pandemic, no one's allowed up there no pedestrians no customers not even employees can get up there this location is riddled with nothing but jordan only jordan retros is permissible or permitted in this spot no kobe lebron or kds no nike product is allocated to this location period only michael jordan and his signature athletes will be found in this building they had a ton of retros to so salute to this spot salute to the cool thing from bringing me here i think was well worth the visit